popular CNN news anchor and correspondent, Aisha says A has resigned after 13 years. Aisha who has covered elections and national emergencies, worked with world leaders and politicians, revealed this via her Twitter handle, at Aisha says A. From a fairly green reporter, Aisha became an impressive force in the field of journalism. In a report by What We See, she said, I've been at CNN for 13 years, it's the end of a huge chapter. It's been such a tremendous time, such an eventful 13 years, I feel like I grew up working there. I showed up as a 30-year-old in 2005, with two suitcases and a one-year contract. I've managed to make that last 13 years. It's been amazing. I've been married when I was there, divorced when I was there, it's all happened. It's an exciting time for me and a nerve-wracking one," she adds. According to her, she's taking a step back from working as an anchor to focus on what resonates the most with her. The 42-year-old also noted that she is writing a book about the Chibok girls who were abducted in 2014. I'm writing a book about the Chibok girls. It's being released in May 2019. It really speaks to where my head is at, currently a lot more coverage about Africa, a lot more work on the continent, and a lot more focus on young girls. That's what I'm about right now, she said. She traveled to Nigeria to cover the story and, like many current events in Africa, she feels the way it's been represented in the press just doesn't do it justice. While in 2014 the news was full of headlines dedicated to the Chibok girls, the media has long since moved on. It's a real indictment of the society we live in now, she says. We previously reported that popular CNN anchor, Aisha Seze, chided President Muhammadu Buhari over the abduction of schoolgirls from the Government Girls Science and Technical College, Dapki, Yobi State. Seze, who is of Sierra Leonean descent, made her comments on her Twitter handle, at Aisha Sasekin. The anchor referred to the incident as a national disgrace, as she opposed the description by Buhari, that it was a national disaster.